In this lesson, we are going to look at another method of analyzing general plane motion, which is by finding out the instantaneous center of zero velocity. Okay, just recollect we had seen that when you have a cylinder which is rolling without slipping, okay, rolling without slipping, or a sphere or a wheel which is rolling without slipping. then we realize that at the point of contact your velocity is zero okay when you have velocity zero then basically it means that this cylinder is rotating about this point okay so at that particular instant it seems as if this cylinder is rotating about this point just understand why we say that we know vb is equal to va plus vb with respect to a okay if i say that va is zero okay if this is zero then my vb is equal to v b with respect to a okay or in other words my v b is going to be equal to omega cross r b with respect to a do you remember what this equation is this is simply the equation of a rotation about a fixed axis okay the axis goes through your point a okay so if your v a is zero then it means that you are having a rotation about a okay so over here if my velocity of this point is zero then basically what i'm saying is at this instant this body is rotating about this point okay so such a point for a body having a general plane motion is known as your instantaneous center of zero velocity just realize at a certain instant you have this point as your instantaneous center of zero velocity okay when this sphere moves a bit ahead then obviously this point would going to come over here so after few seconds your instantaneous center of zero velocity comes to this point okay so this instantaneous center of zero velocity keeps on changing with time however for a given instant it is going to be at a particular position which you have to find out okay if you know your instantaneous center of zero velocity okay then it's very easy to find out different velocities of different points okay let's just say you want to find out the velocity of this point okay obviously since your body is rotating about this point your velocity of this point is going to be tangential like this and it is going to be what it is going to be omega cross this length okay so if this length is let's say x okay then you can just calculate the velocity of this point as omega into x assuming you know your angular velocity okay as we have seen angular velocity is independent of the reference point okay so if your angular velocity is known to you and you know your instantaneous center of zero velocity then all you have to do is find out this particular distance and your velocity for this point would be omega multiplied by x and your direction would be perpendicular to this line okay similarly if you want to find out what is the velocity over here simply find out this distance okay and this is your direction perpendicular to this and if this distance is y then your velocity for this point is omega into y okay so for any given point it is very easy to calculate the velocity simply find out the distance okay multiply by omega 